Hello, welcome to my channel. I've been asked by SGK Tube about doing a wee video on how to do the flags on the Manx Civil War black powder miniatures. So what I have is a couple of standard bearers. I'm going to do some flags. So what the what flags I'm using today? These are the ones that came in the War Games Illustrated magazine with the sprues that came in the January issue that I've just cut out and it's the same methodology whichever material flag you're using I've found for this scale. Okay so what I've got is I've got some PVA glue so I'm going to do the national flag the Star Spangled Banner Stars, Stars and Stripes I should say and national flags I always put on the right so I'm, uh, I'm doing this for the camera for the first time. So we'll just put some PVA glue on the banner pole, like so. Okay. PVA glue's good. It takes a while to dry, so it's quite forgiven if you make any mistakes. It also dries clear, so if you get any anywhere you don't want it to be, it'll generally dry clear. So I'm just going to put this all over the flag base there. Autofocus is a bit fuzzy. I do apologise. I'm uh, putting plenty on. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold this over. But I'm going to keep like that. I'm then going to slide it on like that. You can see it poking out the top. Get it to where I want. Pinch it. Like so. We have excess glue on the bottom there, so I'm just going to take that out. So that's the basic flag done. What I wanted to do, a lot of mine you'll see the kind of fluttering. So all I do is one finger on the end and pinch it in. Done. So I'm just going to do the second one, which is the regimental flag. Again, PVA glue. On the flag staff, the banner pole. Make sure I get this the right way around. Don't want upside down eagles. PVA glue on, on it. Dead simple. Push it together, and you can see again we hold at the top. Slide it on. Now, as you see here, it's not lined up quite properly, so I'm just gonna. Pull it around a bit until it's lined up as much as I want it to. And as you can see, this one's still not dry, so it's okay if I mess, press that, push it around and bend it. And then, twist it up. There's my flag. It's not come off a bit from the front there. If you wanted to as well for a bit of extra support. A bit of extra PVA glue top and bottom and there you have it now that isn't quite everything so occasionally you see a wee bit of white shown through where it's joined now you can paint this before you put it on or you can paint it afterwards so I've got a pot of Bill Brown which is like a goldy colour and you see the flags when it decides to focus it's got a goldy colour around so what I'm going to do and it's more awkward than I like with the camera and stuff but I'm just going to paint this along the edge to hide the white so you get the idea you start to see that covering up 
So to give you a close up on some of the ones I've previously finished. So you see that around this flagpole, it's not quite flush, but I've painted in so with gold so you can't see the white showing through. And with the Confederate flags, exactly the same methodology. Uh, but once I've finished, I've gone back, maybe with edged it in red. Just to hide that underneath. So there you go, flags. Dead simple. That's basically how I've got away with doing all my flags. Uh, if you've got any further questions, fire them away. Thanks for watching, and I hope you are successful with your flags.